Can we still jump? Confirm. Destination. Babylon, Babylon 5. 5. Who is this guy? I don't know. New character. Hi guys, we are Knights. I'm Ray. And I'm Gerard. I'm Julian. I'm Michael. Guys, we are here. We're here and back. We are ready. Yes, we are. To Four? deal with season three of Babylon 5. Which, by the way, okay. looking at the comment section, I it seems to me that really a lot of people think this is the greatest season of Babylon 5. Well, yeah, and, we've, and, we've and, gotten that. And I think I but I think that's a controversial statement. So we are about to embark on what we believe will be uh 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 an amazing season. Do you think we're finally getting to the first layer of the cake? Do I? Uh, no, 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 no. We got to the first. We, layer. Yeah, we got. We, I don't know. First, I, we, yeah, we got. We got. We got. Because we're not at the meat yet, though. We're not at the meat. What are like you know based off what our fans have said? It's like season one was the sprinkles on the cake. Season two was the icing on the cake, and that season three is the first layer. I think we're getting to nitty gritty for sure. Yeah, I like, think we get into nitty gritty. I think I'm thinking we're getting towards the towards the center. Like, I, you know, when there's two layer the, the double layer of frosting, we've gone to like that double layer of frosting, and now we're getting to like that the, where the juice is sitting at. You know what I mean? Like it settles right there in that middle. We're like, ooh, yeah. Like you know, you ever had a like the Dominican cakes? You know what they do like with rum? <laughs> yeah, right. We're right there at the rum piece. You know what I mean? It's that. But that's I, I do think this is the a debate that we're gonna have to. Uh, eventually uh, discuss after we're done with three and four. Yeah, I know if you see them five, people don't have the same feeling for. Uh, but three and four, like what we're about to go to now is like, we, this is it. Yeah. We, this is no more build up. This yeah. is like now, this is like we go up a roller coaster. We meant now the ride begins. Yeah. This like is where we're at. The peak. I, and I can't tell you how excited I am about this because season one and season two to me have been phenomenal. Season two really took me by surprise. So I can't imagine what's going to happen season three because we are at war. We are in war. And will we see, the thing is, are we gonna see the Great War here? I think it's gonna start. I think we're and we're, and we're gonna get a, a few battles in, but I don't think it's gonna go completely into it. Okay. You know what I mean? I think the climax of that war is gonna be season four, and then it, then season five is gonna be the ending of it, and who, basically where the ships lay. Do you think this season we're gonna see a shadow ship shot down? We already seen. We already seen. No, it didn't get. They didn't get shot down. They they they, 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 they fixed they, it. They got shot, but didn't get shot no, down. No, no, they, 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 they got destroyed. They took it. Yeah, no, yeah, they took it. Yes, they did. Two. Yeah, they got destroyed. All right. Uh, by the way, I had that discussion with people. Uh, 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 comment that you guys like. They don't know what you guys saw because that didn't happen. It got shot, and they got taken care of, but it wasn't. It wasn't destroyed. Uh, anyway, they're all wrong. The Mine, thing is, we're right. Since you guys feel that way, anyway, so let's see what let's see what's going on here. But anyway. With that said, I'm excited about season three. Oh, I'm, you guys see the season three? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're fired up. Yeah, my, we're fired up. My, we're, we're fired up. my prediction for season three is going to end up being that, like, we're going to start seeing the politics going behind of the start to the war. That's what I feel. The we're politics? Gonna, the politics as in, like, things are going to come to light. That the war needs to happen okay. in season three. All right, you Julian, know? I haven't heard anything from you. I'm kind of scared. What's going on? What are you cooking over there? What are you cooking? What are you cooking over there? I don't know. I haven't heard. I think you was ready for the ride. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I was in a whole another universe. I was just thinking about Dune Two. <laughs> <laughs> Dune Two. <laughs> We're in Bobble on Five World, man. Oh well, uh, yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's do this, guys. All right, guys. We are at season three, episode one, Matter Bobble on Five, a matter of honor. Let's check this out. Last week, after you saved my life, I didn't really get a chance to thank you properly. I've tried to reach you since then, but uh, you haven't answered my calls. Yeah, I'm Jesus now. <laughs> Being seen by so many at once was a great strain. I returned to my ship to rest. That was a strain to be seen? After taking such, such care to hide what you really are, why take that chance? And wait. That's a good it point. Was Necessary. He's a big player in the future, if that's the case. See, but see, he doesn't tell him why. Point utterly useless and totally consistent with what I've come to expect from a Vorla. That's why you're C tier. <laughs> really? I really hate it when you do that. 
good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Just put him in a headlock. Who are you? Literally. <laughs> All right, we're not playing this game anymore. I didn't know we were gonna pick up exactly where we left off yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a new player. Oh, that's the Jawsy ship. Here it comes. What? That's a cool ship. Oh, wow. What's this? Oh, oh, he got hit. Who's that? Vigo Morgan. It's Mortensen. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a new character? Can we still jump? Confirmed. Destination. Babylon 5. Who is this guy? I don't know. New character. All right. Coming out the gate swinging, yep. guys. Coming out the yeah. gate swinging. A recap of last season, so that's not bad. Let me see. All right, I'm not looking at this. All right, guys, while we're watching this, I do want to make an announcement. Um, if you guys want to see this live with us, we do actually do a lot of these reactions live on YouTube for those who are newer to the channel. So um, come check us out. Make sure you give us a follow. I don't want to see this anymore. <laughs> I'm seeing way too much. I'm like, nope. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I kept looking at other places other than Yeah, I'm like, I'm not looking at that. <laughs> I didn't want to see I too saw much. one thing and I was like, nope. I was like, let me take this time. Hey, I like this opening. Oh, that's cool. That's different. Redirect as much power as you can from life support to the engines. He looks like if Ezio was a real person from Assassin's Creed. Yeah, leave it to you to try and take all the fun out of life. I mean, come on, where's your sense of <laughs> mystery, of adventure? Are you trying to cheer me up? No, sir. Wouldn't dream of it. Good. <laughs> Cheered up. It's depressing. Well, in that case, we're all going to die horrible, painful, lingering deaths. <laughs> That's a sh foreshadowing. <laughs> Captain Jim. Commander Ivanov. David and Dowd. Earth Force Special Intelligence Division. What I have to say is for your ears only. Of course. Interesting. I'd appreciate it if you could have Ambassador Delin present as well. Not a problem. I'll have her meet us there. Okay. Wow. I want Delin there too? My guess is he was saving energy to make sure he got here. Any idea why? Uh, negative. He must have erased the ship's logs before he docked. Like the new digs, just move in. Yeah, this morning. Still trying to sort the place out, though. Definite improvement. They definitely got a new budget. <laughs> Take this pin real quick. Did you recognize that? Did he recognize that? Sanchez. Got a patient here, Med Lab One. Can you get up here, stat? Believe me, he's not going anywhere. I'm on my way. Is he awake? And he's gone. He's gone. Okay. With the non-war over, I think it is time that we reconsider our relationship. Yeah, he's trying to just shut it off. It's too late now. Yeah, you still you still need to cash your favors, man. And now that we've done everything that you've asked, you'd like us to just mm -hmm. disappear. That's not gonna happen. Aren't you being a little premature? Now it is time for you to go away. Our last song. I think you're making a big mistake here. He's gonna cash in a favor. No, he's gonna kill him. Morden's gonna kill Londo. I have to meet with my associates, but let's say we reconvene in your quarters later this afternoon to discuss it. And then you'll go away? For as long as you want. Hmm. Uh. <sighs> mm. Some of you may already have seen this on ISN. Oh, look. Yep. The impact this guy had. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Dang. We're done playing this at home, trying to convince the public that we know what it is, where it's from, and that we're not worried. We don't have a clue. This is the first time I've seen a ship like this. Sure. Mimbari don't lie. Take a good look. Except for the honor of another. She 
She's not going to tell him. Not her. Not yet. She's not going to tell him. I'll need to speak with all the other ambassadors about this, Captain. Strictly on the QT. I can't imagine why they would tell Earth about this right now because if anything, don't make it worse. Yep. Yeah. If anything, don't make this too public. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they said. They're not, they're, I think that, Morden's going to make contact do, with that. That guy. they can't do that. I think because Morden's going to make contact with the uh, guy right here. With Earth? Yeah. This is one of theirs, isn't it? I'm sorry I could not tell him the truth. But our only chance is in allowing the shadows to think that we are unaware of their Correct. Yeah, they can't tell. They are nearly invincible. I don't believe that. Every ship has a weakness. Believe what you will. That experience changes your mind. Thank you, Keffer, for your value sacrifice. F tier. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they in trouble, bro. By the way, the design for that ship is dope. I like that. Design. Yeah. And how, like, it's like a livid. Yeah. Someone is looking for you. Oh, this is not a good time, my dear. Uh, he sent this. Okay, who is this guy? Oh, he's involved with the right people. Is he a ranger? I think that's what that might be. Only on such short notice, Ambassador Molari. Nonsense. Even before our new tree. Oh, I was wondering what you might know about this ship. He's never seen this ship either, has he? No, he hasn't. No. Yes. In a dream. A thousand. Two thousand. So many that they blot out the sun. That's crazy. They look like half sea urchins. I'm sorry I could not be of more assistance. Perhaps... One of the others. I don't think you're gonna turn off like that that easy. Thank you for your time, Ambassador Molari. I uh, I wouldn't be convinced that he doesn't know what this yeah, is. Yeah, because how can you have wait, but how can you have a dream or something that you've never seen before? People come here to drink. Do you want to draw attention? Oh, it's a real that one. Loyalty, it's a real man. one. That loyalty. I need your help, Delenn. This way. Nay watch? Yes, I know. I don't like extortion. And I don't like insults. Funny, with a face like yours, I thought you'd be used to it. <laughs> Dang! Jesus. Okay. The Len. You all right? We don't got time for this stupid noise. Keep moving. I mean, Barry, fight him. We'll do it. A gift from a friend. We must hurry. This way. That was pretty dope. That little weapon there. Yeah. Yep. I can do that, guys. What the? <laughs> <laughs> she did say it was an old one too so there's probably more advanced ones this is marcus he's a, a ranger they've been trained to fight the shadows and keep an eye on what's happening outside babylon 5 when did you how did you captain the day something happens around here and i don't know about it worry oof hey that's dear <laughs> <laughs> two weeks ago we were surrounded by centauri blockade mines it's a small colony with very little of value, so our guess is that we're the target. We're boxed in on all sides. We need your help now. Mm. How? We don't have those kind of resources, and we're already in hot water with the Centauri over the last firefight. We have the means, if you have the will. Oof. We have no one else to turn to. How do you have the means? Did they have a warship? I became responsible for their well-being. I'm not going to abandon them now. now. We've spent too much time reacting when we should have been acting. Let's take the offensive for a change. Hey. Hey. That's a great way to start season three. Hey. What? Okay. I want to see some fights. Going our separate ways, I wanted to be sure we understood the terms of our separation. This area over here is for the Centauri. That's so cool. 
You can take anything you want over here, and we'll take everything we want over there. And what guarantee do we have that your forces will not decide to turn around and attack us? None. <laughs> Yikes. Then we go our separate ways, and we owe each other nothing. Of course. This world, it's on the border of your space, but we have a vested interest in it. I've taken the liberty of asking Lord Rifa to secure it for us. Rifa? Well, you said you wanted nothing more to do with us. What? Yikes! He secured the planet for us, and now my associates will take custody of it. Oh, boy. So that's what's happening. Tell your forces to leave the blockade mines, but to move their ships out of that area. You don't want them or anyone else hanging around my associates come. Ooh, blockade mines. Yeah. Back row seven. The that's blockade. where they Yeah, that's where they're going. Yeah. Well, the, the question no, is... Rifa is, is the one that's doing the blockade, not the shadow people. Yes. Question is, what's the interest? What's on that planet? Rangers. Yeah, really. Besides yeah. the rangers. Some major yeah. technology? Would you like to tell us what's waiting for us on the other side? A beginning. Dude, uh, but they don't need... They don't need... Can you stop with the riddles? <laughs> Damn it. They don't need Lando anymore. If they got yeah. Rifa. That's really cool. Is that a Vorlon ship? Her name is the White Star. And she's yours, Captain. <gasps> I think it's a war. What am I looking at? A right? war freighter. Oh, how dope. Oh, oh I got goosebumps. The white star Look at this ship. This ship is amazing. I like how, oh. how it looks like a sword, kind of. Oh, it's, it's a Mimbari. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's dope. Is it living? Dude, I think we're gonna see a shadow ship get blown up, bro. I think so too. What? What? They're gonna pray the evil away. Put us on course for Zagros Seven. Nesha'a, Zagros Chen. Because the warrior class don't even want to work with humans. I was under the impression that they all spoke uh, like the common tongue or something. No. They came to our world over a thousand of your years ago. They set up a base on one of our southern continents. They took little interest in us. I tried to warn the others that the ancient enemy was returning. But no one listened. To all things, there is a time, Mr. Endowi. Perhaps this is theirs. Mm. Holy crap. S tier top one. Jesus. <laughs> I love Jakar, bro. My boy playing the xylophone in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Bing, boom, boom, pom, pom. So how'd you get involved with the Rangers? My brother joined six months before I did. He came back to warn me about a shadow attack on the mining colony I was working at. He died that day. I got back just in time to see him die. Oof. Oh, wow. Before he died, he asked me to finish what he'd started. I keep my promises. That's good. That's good. Oh, I, I just, just let you. This guy in Ivana uh, becoming a thing. Yeah. Fire. Jeez. Oh, he's making it happen. I don't like it. They wouldn't just abandon a blockade like this. Unless they even called it. And just leave all of this behind unprotected. That doesn't make sense. What? That's the what? Turn to an IMAX. The land, what else can this ship do? All in good time, Captain. All in good time. W w what time is it now? Who? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Show me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get it. Oh, oh, go get it, guys. Oh, yes, go get it. Go get it. Go Let's get go. It. Let's go. Let's go. Fire. 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 Get him, boys. Fire. Get him. Get him! Fire you, you got the weapons! Yeah! You can't let it go. It can't get away. Fire! 
You can't abandon them down there. I have no intention of abandoning anyone. Can you talk about those weapons? We're not ready for this yet. Well, then we better get ready and fast. I mean, what choice you have? Yeah, because that ship can take off, take care of all of the ships that are gonna escape. Either way. <sighs> Enemy vessel targeting us. Evasive action, but keep firing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm getting shivers! Marcus, there's your window. Tell the rangers to clear out. All right, head for the jump gate. Would it not be faster to open a jump point? I don't want them to know we have that potential. Now hit it. Yeah, good That's point. True. Good point. That's true. Wherever we go. I'm counting on it. The planet. Maybe? Oh, oh, Maybe? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. That'd be dope. Oh. Though that's dope. Behind the planet, behind the planet. Oh. Listen to me, Captain. Shh. You don't know what you're dealing with. Man, shut up, Delenn. <laughs> Enemy vessels closing. Let me do what I'm good at, and you do what you're good at. Watch this. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you opened a jump point while inside a jump gate? No. And neither should you. What? They called it the bonehead maneuver. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> Is this ship fast enough to get out before the gate blows? I have no idea. Well, well, well let's figure, figure it out. out. Oh my god. All right, stand by jump gate sequence. Ivanova, you ride the jump engines. Be ready on my signal. You ready? You may proceed anyway. Oof. Hey, hey. She got a <laughs> little. She got a hey. little. She got a little. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah. Tell me what to do Big again. Big strong man. Punch it. Jesus. Barely. Did he just make a black hole? This man just created or, a new math. Or exploded like a sun at that point. A nebula? Yeah. Dark matter. Nothing ever prepared me for this sort of experience. I, perhaps <laughs> when this is all over, that I will he just saw God. submit a Bro. proposal to revise the program. Please tell me that the shadow died. That would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> They, they just I, I barely so. made it out. Barely made it out. I think the shadow's still alive. I'll turn this over to SID for analysis. See what they can make of it. I'll make sure you get a copy of my report. Oh, he knows. Well, after what your card gave him. Oh, no, of course, but the fact that this dude ended up lying to his face. That's the thing. Oh, what earth? Geneva, Switzerland. You'll find the report quite complete, Senator. Good work on this in Dowie. I'll let you know what we find. Hmm, who, who is she? She's a Shadows player. I told you to wait outside. You could have been seen. It's Morden. No harm. No one knows who I am. It's all here. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Morden. Oh, my gosh, man. Work Psych Oh, my God! Is right! I called it! Is right! We called it! Yeah! Yo! Your government can dismiss this as an isolated incident. I don't know. There's something about this idea of a threat to planetary security I find very appealing. There's no reason we can't use this situation to speed up the program here at home. Holy crap. Program. Section 7? Or whatever it's oh called? Oh my Yo. god, man. Oh. Woo! Wow! I was right! Susan here. The point to watch everything that happens. Yo, that's... Oh, can't Yo, wait we can't trust her. Shh, shh. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. So I'm creating a war council. Now, whatever knowledge or information we have will be shared among the rest. There are no ground rules. Anyone can say anything he or she wants to say. It's a good council. Dr. Franklin gonna be more active? 
Could someone please tell me what the hell these shadows are? There are beings in the universe billions of years older than any of our races. They created great empires, taught the new races, explored beyond the rim. <laughs> the oldest of the Franklin's not sleeping tonight. Are the shadows. <laughs> you know other name for them. Ah! What a great, great way to kick no. these off. That's Dude, crazy. The first episode. So, so this here. Wow. So, Julian, your your, your theory was correct. Awesome. Yeah. Job. Ray, awesome. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. By the way, I, I kind of hate to admit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ray, unfortunately, uh, it is like it is admit that, but it, it is, is as simple as that. That the shadows are <laughs> running everything that's bad right now. That's crazy, uh, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ. My though. ego has never been stroked harder. <laughs> hey, that. Morden, by the way, S tier. Just saying. Still a tool. I'm mean, still uh, a vassal. It's not him. S tier. It's not him. S tier. Anyway. Right now he's using Reva as a tool. Dude, yeah. Dude. My head he's literally using so him as a tool. Inflated right now. Dude. I just want to say I am right. You're all Soak right. it in. Soak it in. Yeah. By all means, you deserve that. You deserve that. So, dude, what the hell? That's crazy. And episode one too. Episode one started wow. off with a bang. We got a problem. There's a major problem wow, here, though. This is, these are major problems. Okay, we kind of guessed that uh, um, these people were major players. The the Psychor. Oh, right. But we didn't know how much. Now it was more than showing up. And by the way. We don't know. We don't know how long they've been working with them. Wait, how long has Morden been on Earth? Yeah, it, it, this could be something recent. Maybe because of what Lando just did, they might have pushed him to this to this level, or they've been doing it all, the, all along. But if they're doing it all along, why would they be investigating the ship? Um, well, why would they send somebody out there to look for the ship? The thing is, I feel like to maybe help with the timeline a little bit she was mentioned she was like she did mention something like i told you not to like not told you not to come in yet as in like they've had conversations before it's not like this is yes. the first time they're talking i think no, but, I, but, wait, wait, but i have a, still be, that, like that, i have an answer to your question rick the answer to the question is that remember i think there's still a bipartisan party i think there's one that's on the shadow side and the other one that's for earth side like yeah. they still don't want aliens, but they're not for, you know, partying with the shadows. So I think to please them, right, to make everybody seem like they're not on the shadows side and never to be found out like on no that record. side. Exactly. We have to just still discover these things that we do not know, but in reality we do know. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, but I need to get some things cleared out. I need to find out exactly who is she. Who is she? I, we don't know. You know, who, what she's a senator. Yeah, she's most likely she's a senator. A no, that's person. she was called senator. Sure. So we know so, she's a senator. So if yeah. that's the case, if she's a senator, how much does everybody else know on Earth? That that's is what it we just her? Answer. Yeah, we need we need is we need to find her? out. Probably or a small group. Like, we need to know. We need to know more information exactly. What what? Uh, how far oh, is the right. shadows on Earth? Wow. Because I mean, yo, you know what I just thought about. I just thought about some crazy things. Remember how, like, the the pro-Earth people? What if in the future we see that the pro-Earth people align with the good people, the good side, let's say. Home guard, you're talking about? Home guard. Home guard. Yeah. Aligns with the, the Rangers just because they probably will hate the shadows, which is pretty funny. But then, the, of course. I mean, I can see that. I can see that. I can also. You know what I could also see? I could see people from Psychor not. I feel like it's divided as as much as that's not all of Psychor knows that they're with shadows. Yeah, be and I could see a split of that happening. I don't think all of Psychor is with the shadows. But Psychor, well, that's my theory. At least not. Psychor not is also there. Mm -hmm. How connected are they with the first watch, or the nice watch? I don't know because. We don't know. And the, I, that's a great question. That's a great question. We we don't know all these things. There's not. We they know could, a lot about Earth, but we don't know a lot. About nice it. I know, but we, but, but we can speculate because there's been a lot of movement going on with the Night's Watch, and I'm wondering if that has anything to do. Like, if, are they infiltrated? Are they infiltrated into the Department of of Peace? What the what, Peace? Ministry of Peace. The Ministry of Peace. I think they're being made 
I think they're getting made they by the government movies. people of Earth yeah. so they can start controlling Babylon 5 instead of making it a neutral party because that's what Babylon 5 is supposed I, to be. Dude, there's so many things well, out there that, right but now. it's not that no more. We okay. know for a fact it's not that no more. All, right. okay. All we can agree with is that we're, we're confused as hell now. Yep. Because there's again. so oh, many... Confused. All over again. No, 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 no. I feel we like last time we had a good grasp. Now yeah. they just threw a wrench into all of that. Uh, well, I I mean, I was right. We just never expanded on my stuff. We so had, well, I yeah, think, because it was hard. We had no evidence. Yeah, we yeah. had no evidence. I think that the Night's Watch is actually the successor to their sleeper agent program. Because remember, the sleeper agent program was kind of like a failed yeah. program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the Night's Watch program was what was the successor to it. And just most people don't know what Night's Watch is for, and they think it's just for like. Keeping you know, everybody the under good for the, the people. Gustapo, exactly. I think they're just the Gustapo when really they're actually working for Psycho. Dude, what I'm just yeah. wondering is how I'm really wondering how much of Psycho is the shadows. Like I can't see all of the Psycho being shadows. I I, I, I don't think so. I, I think I think you're gonna find people in Psycho who are not, not yeah into that. No, but there are part of hungry people, and I and I want and I still think that that has something to do. There's something with Mars. I think Mars is the one that's under Psychor's, uh, not Psychor, uh, the, the shadows. shadows. Yeah. I, and that could that be, be the meeting point? Because remember, that's Mars? the individual training facility that's like really high up there or whatever. That's under Section Eight or Section Seven, whatever the the Bureau or something. Oh, that Bureau, they were killing that they Bureau were killing anyone like that. that escaped, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I think is controlling all of Psychor, and they're indoctrinating their members to be like, Psychor is the mother, Psychor is the father, shadows are the good. We're trying to become now telekine te telekinetic and keep that experiment going to become more powerful and hit God status. Humans are in control. Yeah. Not. I just wonder right. how much. Honestly, what I'm also wondering is the technology. How much is it really going to impact the shadows now at this point? All the technology that we've gotten from the first season. That's, That's a hell of a good question. Well, we, don't, we still don't know how powerful they are. Like, we don't. Well, right now, that explosion we saw, we don't even know that took out that ship. That's true. We, we, we have no evidence that they got that shit. I mean, if so it, how it strong are they? And, wild. and that, right? then she said, the lens says that those ships are powerful. They they fall you down. We never seem to get taken down. Whatever, you okay. know. So again, bring proof to my first my, my 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 first comment about them having, having shot down. So my big question is, how many of those ships do we have? The ship that we just gave to um, probably what, the White Star lot. was it? I think White Star yeah. probably not much. Just that one ship because yeah, because he that's not gonna be enough. Len, I don't Len, think just the one, but I don't think a lot. He ended you up there in production. Yeah, yes. he ended up mentioning. I was like, when we get back home, I'm gonna end up talking about a couple things about the program. I you know what I I, said, I like, will it's still in the works with the Vorlons. I will say they're though, working with more stuff. If you don't mind, Julian. Go ahead. I will say though. I think the shadows are in the same spot. I don't think they're as big as a lot of people think they are. I don't think they are. Right. By the way, if you've seen, there's only a very few instances where there's more than one ship mm -hmm. that they're showing out. But they're powerful ships. They, they are. Um, what I'm trying to say, yeah, that is true, but I'm saying Listen, that. I, I'm saying it only because Cortez showed up to the Aztecs with like four guns and took them all out. You know what I mean? You don't need much if you got, if you got the best technology. Oh, no, he just sneezed. <laughs> he, he just, uh, you, and I'm killed, just saying, famine killed all of them. They have top like Christopher Columbus they, bringing they the blankets. Nah, uh, he died. Is this mine? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, I think a few things. So one, I think there's not a lot of shadows because remember they were trying to expand previously. That's how we've been finding out about these is because they keep trying to expand more and more. I also think that Earth Force is already building on kind of the shadows technology to get uh, bioengineering because remember. They reclaim the scarab from season one if that actually continues on, and that comes from something. Yeah, the bioweapon. The think bioweapon. Word is promising Earth technology. I think Could he's be. promising Psychor the next step to evolution and Earth more technology, so that way they can become be more in control on top a dominant spe species. When really it's not going to happen. The shadows are going to conquer everything, but they're using Earth right now. Which yeah. is weird because you know Earth is going by Earth. Earth first mentality. Yeah. And then you see this. So it's a mutual alignment right because now. Because we are seeing, we have seen in the past some crazy technology by Earth. So there must, that Jillian just said the same, there must be a reason on how out there really learning about but I But I wonder, I wonder. Secretly too. I wonder how compromised Earth is. Yeah. You know, is it just one section? Is it just one senator? I mean, it, it, that, yeah, that's, more, that's my biggest question. You yeah. know, like how, how deep does it go? How deep was in 
even with the, the side court, you see how, how deep does it go in there? I think you know? it's Nancy like, I don't think Besta knows this. How about that? I don't think Besta's aware of this. Probably not, no. Right? So I don't think it goes all the way through. I don't think he's that high. I don't think, you know what, I, I, and, I, and that's what I said, I don't think that Best Girl wrote before this. I don't. Th you really I think Besker think so? wants to. No, I think Besker wants the human race to do better. I, I just don't see him going this route and being part out with the shadow people. You think we might see a side swap with the? I Besker? think we might see a side swap, and that's why I think that the side core is going to switch. I think Besker is going to put his foot down. I think it's going to cause a civil war in the side core. That's what I'm that saying. would be great. That would be pretty. That, awesome. and that's what I'm trying to say. That there's going to be a split because it makes sense as to why Besker wasn't there mm. instead that other guy who we've never seen. Uh, yep. Yep. Um, yep. can we also talk about something? Let's 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 switch up the thing. Um it looks like Mimbari and uh the Vorlons have been doing this a lot longer than what we really know. Yes. Because uh, apparently it was only Delen. Remember at first it was like, oh only I know, only no no no. They look like a lot more people than just Delen know. Yeah. If the Mimbari and Vorlons got together to make a ship, that means a lot more people than just Delen knows. I think there's other people in Rangers. But she's not keeping... Too. But you know what? She's not telling... I'm surprised that she's not telling the council about this. Like, I don't think they're aware of this either. Well, no. remember... If, if she was aware... If, if they were aware, they probably would not have taken her away from... They did mention that not everyone... I think they might be know about it, but not everyone maybe. But they, she did mention that not everyone in their parties agrees with the... About the Rangers, mm -hmm. so so I think her. they know. It's just that about the she, Rangers, but not like her Warlock. acting, not like this whole shit. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, exactly, yeah. correct. So that's different. But there's a lot of stuff happening now, dude. That's that's, that's crazy. Way, we that did not imagine this. Sick. 100%. That ship was sick. And, and for being that sick. and for being that huge and moving that quick too, that's some crazy now, technology. To think that they got they got first of all it was Lando. Right to to in our mind, at least in my mind, it was just Lando they had we were talking to. Now they spoke to Rifa. That's crazy that they just bypassed Lando in that sense. Yes. So then at this point, what's the, what then Lando's not worth anything at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know? That's why I'm saying they're gonna kill him. That's crazy. Who, who, who he's on my on your list on my list, uh, which is crazy. Now before uh, Jakar kills him. Two. They have Earth. So. This is what we reveal now. You think there's somebody else they might have? Mm. You think there might be another uh, other people that they that they already infiltrated? Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent. I'm not sure yet, but 100 percent they've probably some minor planets that we haven't seen yet. I don't think they were bothered. Not planets. not drow not Drazi. Drazi obviously is you on the what? side of the ring. And why would they want that planet? Yeah, exactly. Why would they want that, that planet? That is my other biggest question. Why the Asian hell are they looking for there. all these planets? I have no idea on why they well, want well, just that one planet. No, but they have a few planets. I have a theory. I have a theory. But go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so remember the remember the conversation that of Delen was saying towards the very end that you know they're the oldest in the galaxy or whatever they they've always been flying through galaxies as a giant, right? So she also did mention I don't know if you guys caught it slightly, but she also did mention that they also ended up exploring planets to teach species too. So at, at, at one point they were kind of good, I guess, kind of. So they might end up having the some. Shadow? Yeah, so they might end up having some lost technology in that world that they left there, that they weren't able to get back before they left. You know what? These planets might be their weak point. They might need these planets somehow or some way, and that's how we're gonna find out. Or like a transmitter, hell. like making no, no, something no, stronger. I, I, no, something I, like I don't. I, I'm not applying anything specifically as to what they need, but I know they need these planets some reason. And that's what my, how we might find out what exactly they need, or what's their weak point. Yeah, what's their well, weak? oh because they, oh, yes. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this. These are weird theories. I'm thinking probably with what the shadow is right now, they probably cannot produce more shadow folks. Yeah, yeah. And maybe these planets are a way for them to either produce more technology. Maybe these are old factories they had before yeah, I, to I get more technology out. out. Yeah. Or is there a way for them to produce more of their people? Maybe their people are dying out, and this is how they, they reach out. They, they can make more or whatever. Like, I really do think that this, I don't think they're attacking just for the sake of attacking. Yeah. There's a reason why they're doing this. Yeah, there's a reason I don't think they that they're, I don't think they're like, oh, we, we're shadows, we're bad guys. Kill, 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 kill. I think this, like, that planet is a reason, 
right? And which might be another reason for Marge if Marge is a player. Like maybe there are points that you should be under the control of, let's say, the the uh, uh, or the other planet. Like for example, Jakar said that there was a post, an outpost on his planet of the shadow people, right? Yeah. But they never attacked the Narn. Like they were beneath the Narn. What makes us think that they won't do the same thing on Mars? No need to attack Earth because Earth is not. If it was a thousand years ago. Earth was nothing a thousand years ago. You know, be wild. You know, you know, be wild as if the whole time the shadows were actually not even the bad guys, but the Vorlons were. Like some kind of wild oh, yeah. twist. <laughs> The, 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 the bad the guys Vorla- get go? Yeah, the Vorlons, they've been getting into our societies and whatnot, trying to corrupt what the Shadows have been teaching us. And so they finally did, and now they want to just conquest the uh, Shadows. That would that would be awesome. If, 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 that would, if the Vorlons and Mimbari are actually the, the bad ones. Yeah, that would be... <laughs> and the Shadows are saviors. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, but, no, probably not, but... <laughs> but I, I do think that a lot of these planets, for example... The planet where Jarl is at, the planet right beneath Babylon 5. If that planet is a powerful weapon, what makes me us think that that's the only planet that does that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. You know? So maybe the, the the shadow version of that planet is that planet they're trying to protect right now. Well, and they also got their own type of planet killer they can attack from wherever. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> the Death Star. So to this, there's a lot of questions that still needs to be answered. And this right here just opened you know, up a whole new can of worms. Hi, Mom. I want to take back my earlier statement about the shadows killing Londo. Because I feel like it would be more useful that Morden uses uh, Londo to look like he's still in contact with Londo as kind of like a frame, a framing situation. Because I feel like that would be more in line with what the shadows do since they're cunning and whatnot. While they still use Rifa as their now Senator. their new Lord uh, Londo. Yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Londo's, be- Londo's become an emperor, by the way. I believe that probably, too. Probably, yeah. yeah. You know why but, I believe that? But, but, but he's probably going to be... Wait. If he, he's going to be a vassal. You know why I believe that? Because he hasn't shown the uh, Emperor's eye. And he hasn't put it on. It's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, but at this point... At, at this, this point... At this point, they remember, in their planet right now, they still have no Emperor. They remember that. They have no Emperor. They have strong families. They have strong that are families helping. that are... No, they have that. They have that. We have, we have an Emperor. We have a figurehead. Yeah, we, we have, have a figurehead, but we don't have a, we don't have a per se Emperor. But it, it's We're a strong family. It That's the figurehead. So Rifa's controlling this puppet of an emperor. Exactly. Yeah. So what I think is going to happen is the play is going to be this. I think that Rifa's going to try to take over. But Londo at this point has had so much support. And once he sh- demonstrates this, that's going to cause more strife within the actual um, Centauri community. That's going to be wild. Yeah. And yeah. he's going to become the emperor. And but he already then, has a lot of respect, too. He already has a lot of respect. So. Do you think Lando thinking about his dreams and all this stuff going on with the shadow? He doesn't want to be part of them. You think at some point Lando is gonna break away and probably like, listen, I got information to tell you, uh, Sheridan, and so I'm spilling the beans. Yes, that would be wild. Probably when he's too late though, after he's become emperor and it's genocide. Too late already. I mean, it's genocide. Already too- no, I mean like further too late. I, mm. no, I feel like probably after he's already made himself look like a good guy. Because at that point, what's gonna end up stopping Jakar from trying to get his like get his power taken away from him? You know, I feel like after he already has the power. Yeah. If that's the case. And I gotta tell you, if the shadows show up, I can't imagine Babylon Five surviving an appearance from uh, an army. The shadow. Yeah. Even even one ship. There's gonna be more. Uh, I, I'm just excited because I know there's gonna be there's more gonna fun. be more exploration. And I think there's going to be another. Well, I got to tell you, it's a, it's a great start to season yeah. three. Yeah, it is. I mean, now we have a lot of things to speculate on. A yeah. lot. I mean, not yeah. that we haven't speculated before. But anyway, uh, Julian has been vindicated with his thoughts. Good job, sir. Uh, you still, We still think that uh, Ivanova is a. The agent. The agent. The agent. Well, anyway, guys, listen, if you like what we're doing, please hit the like button, the subscribe button. We appreciate you hanging out with us, guys. Let us know what you think about this episode. Uh, let us know what you think about season three without any spoilers, you know. Uh, how much of a ride we're ready to, give, to, to be part of because I tell you, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. That first that was episode was that super was exciting. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, the, the reveal of a new character, a new oh, ship. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, the information just dropped about uh, 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 Earth. Crazy. 
crazy crazy so anyway guys listen if you like what we're doing again you're going to find this episode available on our patreon for a little as one dollar a month along with every other episode that we have available for babylon 5 we do appreciate you come check us out every pain that you use on, well, will you give us will be put back to our channel and help us grow but again if you really want to help us out the most the best thing to do is to leave a comment or hit the like button uh subscribe. we really do appreciate that subscribe to our channel we do appreciate you hanging out with us guys listen we are having a ball with us, and we appreciate you hanging out with us for this journey. Listen, we are our nights. I'm Ray. And I'm Gerard. I'm Julian. I'm Michael. Guys, we'll see you soon. Stay safe. Everybody. Take care. Take and care. I'm right.